Welcome back everybody. It is time for another Booster Cracking Sunday and we are jumping back into TCG because it's been a minute. I've been hooked on the Crazy Bones for a while, but I wanted to get into another box of Force of Will with one of my favorite sets, the Moon Priestess Returns. Now, I've opened up like three or four of these boxes already. I was trying to look for Narlethotep as a J ruler, took me a couple, and then I finally got lucky and got that pantsless Cheshire Cat alternate art misprint nonsense. And that was a lot of fun. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that one out. But there's still more to be discovered in this box. If if we can find ourselves a first print run of the box, there's a chance we could find some of the alternate art of the little Pierce Redstones. There's a bunch of different alternate arts and I don't have any of them yet except for the regular red version. So that's kind of like the last conquest of this box is finding any or some of those little alternate art versions. So I grabbed one of the boxes from my shelf. I had a couple left and I found myself the oldest crustiest looking outer wrapping paper that I could find and I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope this is a first run first print box so let's go find out let's open it up ah. boom there it is the box the moon priestess returns oh my let's get into it it's been a minute as you can see it's pretty clean looking it's not like the oldest grungiest looking one but it was the best one I could find from what I have available unfortunately there's just no way to tell if you have a first print until you open the box so let's get it open oh yeah there it is bang all our nice little packs let's go now i'm gonna do it a little bit differently i'm just gonna grab a few stacks from all over the box and we're just gonna kind of mix them all up mix mash and then just start pulling at random that way there's no telling what we'll get first or last or whatever first pack let's do it how crazy would it be if we found another cheshire cat in this box what if this is another first print that would be pretty wild pretty insane so let's see what our first one will be oh my boy yog sathoth the dark myth in a nice foil super rare behind it we got gurta fear of passion very nice we'll keep a stack of all our nice cthulhu hits because you know i love it and we also are just going to kind of race through because i've opened up this box a lot so for the most part you guys have seen these cards we've got giovanni and we've got the fire flame magic stone all our uncommons are at the back and what do we miss here do we miss something no was that it but we're just basically going to go and find our little foils another reason for that is there's just like no value right now in this set outside of the alternate arts and things like that i mean shoot even zero here this beautiful zero magnus of the null isn't even worth much maybe is worth like a buck but that's about it but i love this zero it's a beautiful card really cool design on that one and we got the apollo sphere the moon lance well, let's get it let's crack into another one let's see we got our speaker of creation king in yellow classic card uh aladdin's lamp and there we go the little red the pure stone and this is just the normal red so I don't know what that means yet for the box. It's not necessarily not a first print. We may just have gotten unlucky with finding an alternate art in our third pack deep or fourth pack deep. That's crazy. All right, but our chances are not out yet. I actually haven't pulled the little red pure stone card in a while just on its own. These boxes can be kind of picky and weird. You won't always get what you want with this set sometimes. Glimpse of Kaiguya and then the Darkness Magic Stone. Bada bing, bada boom, we've got the 40 Thieves, a classic in a lot of decks. I almost just skip straight through, but we'll, we'll kind of just blaze through like this, that's fine. We got Ragnarok, Divine Sword, very nice. Another one, let's see it. We've got the beautiful Yin Mage, very cool card. Open Sesame, Sweet Rose, with Abel, the Avenger of Gods as our super rare. Behind it, we got the Jin, the Spirit of Lamp. Bada bing, bada boom, let's go. What do we got? We've got more 40 Thieves, the Apostle, Total Eclipse, uh, that one, and the Hound of Tinelos as our rare foil. There it is. He counts as a Lovecraft card. I'll, I'll, you know, it's like that Cosmic Horror vibe, so I'll keep them in the stack over there. Let's see, Speaker, Total Eclipse, Yin again, Phantasm Void, whatever, and the Hound straight again, double up on the Hound. That's crazy. Double Hounds, this uh, little mix-up thing that we got going here of the packs definitely uh, made it interesting split heaven and earth classic card here it is again cracking in these are opening nice and smooth 
we're going to just go straight to that foil on this one. We got Capanella, Campanella, Campanella, the Milky Way Moon, bang. And we've got Seth the Arbiter here behind it. Here it is. Let's go. What kind of look are we in for on this one? Phantasm, uh, the Ash, uh, Ashik, uh, Ashiak, what? How do you say that again? Frick, Records of Eternal Flame. And then, ooh, we've got a nice little magic stone of moonshade looking very shiny and cool next let's get it we've got our shantak here another classic deck card from back in the day a lot of people ran that one we've got shiny trapohedron trapohedron this was a good sideboard card for a lot of decks next let's go wow that one opened up weird kind of why does this one feel thick this one feels like a thick pack for some reason we got a double foil we got shub shub the goddess of fertility beautiful card that's a classic and we've got flame of the outer world another classic card in the rare foiling both of those go in the lovecraft pile last one from our first shuffle and then we'll have to get more from the box we got black goat another card that was played a lot speaker dark shining we got split heaven and earth again and that would be it for that pack. All right, we're going to shuffle the rest of these. We got more from the box. We still got a few left in the box, but we're just mainly going to shuffle these up. Another like 10 or 15 packs shuffled in there. So well, let's see how we do on this luck. We've got Sinbad, not worth anything, and Haster, the unspeakable classic, beautiful, colorful card. What do we got in this one? Well, let's see. We got the Apostles Paradise right on top here. And we've got Sweet Rose with another Yogg-Sothoth, the, the Dark Mythos right there. Bang, two of those this time with another Aster. Oh man, the double ups in this box be on fire right now. Holy cow. At least they're giving us good Cthulhu cards. We have not run into a J Ruler yet either, surprisingly, but it's got, I mean, we took a good chunk out of the box, so it's gotta be here pretty soon. Gerda again with the water magic stone. What do we got in this one? Let's see. We got the black goat. So very nice. White spirit apostles. Seal and Genesis creation. Little chant spell with another magic stone of moonshade in the foiling again. He there it is. All right. We got the sweet rose, the black goat, the total eclipse. Call of Cthulhu, classic. And the Apollo Sphere, the Moon Lance Foil. What about this one? Can we get lucky with something bonkers in this box, man? Let's see. We've got, oh, nice, nice. Magus of the Holy Wind, Fising, Fising, Fising. However you want to say it, I can never really get that one right. Cool card, that's a classic. Behind it, we got Alice, the Guardian of Dimensions as our rare foil, very good. Two very sharp character cards, which I enjoy collecting the nice little character cards and J Ruler. So those are good hits. We got Blazer, the Eater of Dimensions, the crazy looking monster dragon, 1100, 1100 with the Ashiok Records of Eternal Flame behind it. Well, I just realized we got another foil here. We got three foils on that one. Magic Stone of Moonlight was right behind that. So we got a, <laughs> wow, okay, we got a nice three banger in that one. That's pretty sick. I'll take it, I'll take it. Triple threat foil. Hmm, what does that mean for the rest of us here? We got Sinbad again. I'm not a big fan of you, Giovanni. I'm not a big fan of you either. All right, we've got on top, we've got Crime and Punishment, the Beautiful Yin, the King in Yellow, the Open Sesame, the Call of Cthulhu, Sweet Rose, and we got Jin, Spirit of the Lamp. Behind it, we've got Magic Stone of Moonshade once again. Holy crap. All right, we need more stones, but we need those little red stones. Come on. Into the next one, we've got the Weird Looking Seal, Crying Wolf, 40 Thieve, Apostle, Madness here, Yin Mage, and then we've got the Little Prince as our super rare. Very nice, very cool. Nice little card, cute little artwork, nice gold border, shining trapezoidron right behind it. Yeah, all right. I've seen enough of the repeats, and we haven't seen anything super bonkers yet. Let's go. We've got the Winged Lady, our rare foil. Cool card, Lovecraft for show. Next up, let's see what's in this one. We've got arcade of lights or something yeah arcade oh a seed a seed light total eclipse joyful bird catcher call e of cthulhu and then we've got stories told 
in a thousand and one nights i really like the artwork this feels like old school magic right here kind of and it's just a nice looking card very good not worth anything but it's a nice card it's a nice card to look at you know it's a nice card to be like oh yeah i remember you i remember that card crime and punishment sign to the future i see the light and then we've got our what third or fourth shining trap he's drawn here that's pretty nuts that was the last one of the stack so this is all we have left just what eight more packs already we're just cruising through the box we're gonna shuffle up the last few packs here and see what we can find all right first one let's see what we got in this one everything is hiding at the bottom of the box i guess so let's see what we can get now sweet rose and we've got stories told in a thousand and one nights once more pretty funny and nothing behind it my goodness it's just we're just waiting it's just all at the bottom it's wild total eclipse apostle speaker and apollo break moon blast cool looking card i like it Whew. yeah all right we got the silly looking bird dark shining swordsman i don't appreciate that art enough that is a beautiful card really nice looking pilot of the universe and then we got magus of holy wind once again very sharp very cool behind it we got gerda tear passion this was like a straight double up pack i think we got this same layout before right another one let's see we've got uh shantak on the top the beautiful girl right there the flying carpet joyful bird catcher survival of heaven castle and aladdin's lamp bang very nice very sharp just a magic stone that's actually a pretty cool card haven't appreciated that card either my goodness where is all our craziness like we haven't hit a j ruler this is really wild all right seal bullets holy and there she is kaiguya the immortal princess as our j ruler ah very nice very nice card gotta love it she looks wonderful really sharp Oh, I haven't pulled her in a while, actually. What do we got behind it? We got the Flame of the Outer World as our little foil behind. And then we've got just this banger of a card, you know? She just looks beautiful. Love this side, too. Really sharp one. Stellar Wars, Moon Princess, and then the Immortal Princess. Bang. The Cover Lady. Super good. And again, I don't think it's really worth much. It's crazy. It's maybe like two bucks or something. I don't know. Nothing has crazy value in this set anymore. It's wild. So far, these were the two good ones. And, you know, that's not even saying a whole lot. We've only got three packs left to go. So let's scoot these over here and let's open up our last three. Come on. I can't believe we had to wait till our, man, fourth to last pack to get a J Ruler not even trying like just shuffled them all as well which is pretty crazy flying carpet and there it is our second j ruler right after the other one kane the traitor of god's j ruler very nice this one's looking crispy man he's got this nice sheen to them i'll take it the ashiac records of eternal flame right behind it let's flip over kane here not a fan of this side at all uh, apostle of creation it's just not that great i mean he looks ba at least but yeah, his flip side, man. Flip him quick. Take a look at that side better. You know, that one's just great. All right, second to last pack. Let's get into it here. How crazy if we hit something wild on that last one. Bind of Gravity. Uh, just eye the pilots for this one. Nothing good there. But now our last pack of the box. This one was like bent down. I think this one was the one that was upside down in the box too. So... I don't know, maybe we'll get extra, extra lucky. Let's see, we got Sign, Black Goat, Open Sesame, 40 Thieves, Familiar, and Etna, the Snow Queen, Elsa herself, looking cool as can be, super rare. And behind that, we've got the Fallen Comet, another foil, but you know, nothing too crazy on that one. Okay, polls of the day, we got three of the Magic Stone of Moonshade, which is pretty wild, but the Magic Stones can be decent pulls. And then we got one of the Moonlight, we got two of the Yogg's of Thoth, the Dark Myth, which love this card, can't complain. We also got the Zero, and I'm a big collector of Zero as a character, so this one was fantastic. And you know what? It just turned out to be a normal box of the Moon Priestess Returns, second print or something. We just got the Little Red, the Pure Stone, uh, just the normal version, but that's all right. It's a cool card, and I only have one copy of this. That's like out of four or five boxes I've opened, I've only pulled two copies. Pretty insane. But we did get Kane, the Traitor of Gods. I feel like I've gotten him. Like, this is my third one, maybe, of him. 
And we also got Kaiguya, the Immortal Princess, as our final J ruler. A very sharp, a very nice, crispy pull. Thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy the unboxings, TCG, Crazy Bones, Toys, Glios, all sorts of stuff, make sure to subscribe and help support the channel. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. We got lots coming up in the weeks ahead, so we will see you guys in the next video.